button. All right, y'all. I'm gonna tell you what this is, and then we're gonna start. <laughs> Tony hit me up a couple weeks. A couple. You just filled it back up? No, oh, it's full. It's, yeah, I just took a sip. Bro. Okay. Tony hit me up a couple months ago. Matter of fact, it was last year. Just out the blue. You know, we've been playing pool for probably four years. Right. An eternal pool game. <laughs> and we'd be talking on the text. <laughs> so Tony hit me. He just said, this is the sentence. Man, I want to do a podcast with you. Period. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is, man. man I want to do a podcast with you. Period. Mm-hmm. And since I have Here's the Thing, which is pop culture, and Bald and Beautiful is reviewing TV shows, and I saw it on the internet, which Tone Beyond, and he has daddy issues. You're doing Carly a lot of bad podcasts. I, I might take some off. I might not do I saw it on the internet for a while. Man. Cause they got to be like sauce on the internet is fun, but there's no like no podcast ads. It's hard yeah. to justify. Mm. Cause I gotta pay the people. Right. And I don't really have nobody cutting the clips. Okay. So it's just like uh, and yeah. you know the podcast revenue is going down mm. across the board. Mm. So here's the thing is good because it's viable and you got money and all that type of thing. We can go live. But the other ones, I'll be like <laughs> <laughs> if I want to do them, I not not do them like every week yeah i might do them in seasons like right. oh here's 12 episodes of my songs but 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 every week every year Man, for no bro. ads you the steve harvey of podcast Bruh. but for bald brothers me and tone was like our ultimate goal is to build up the bald brothers like saturday night live used to have you know they used to have the, the characters mm-hmm. and then you would love like chris farley and david spade then right. they go off and they get to do tommy boy Right. Right. So me and Tone is like, if we can build the bald brother, we could do live shows together, which we already mm-hmm. did on the stand up. Right. But if we could do podcast version of that, it's less pressure on us mm-hmm. to prepare the material because neither one of us wants to spend weekends in the club developing material in the like cities that we don't love. We right. just want to go right to the theaters where it's one show, no meet and greet. Tony don't like meet and greets either. I'm not the only one. I'll be liking the meet and greets. Tony, you is lying I'll be to conser- the people. I'll be conserving energy. You don't want to, if you say they do it or don't do it, what'd you rather do? I, I'm gonna say not do it just because <laughs> the energy. Because that, I'm on conserving energy. No, no, you just don't like people. No, I love people. No, you don't. I love to perform in front of them no. and then retreat to my cave. <laughs> you don't like. People. I love bumping into them. Watch but out, the man. energy, you know, the energy up, up top, <laughs> the hour, yeah, the double hand grab. <laughs> and then let me tell you, let me tell you. <laughs> so the first time I seen you, I was in uh, I was in basic training. We was in, uh, what city was that? What city was that? We was in the basic training. And then, <laughs> and then you were like. I don't, I know where And then there'd be go. people waiting. And then you got the anxiety of the people waiting on the other side. And, they and just you like, don't know the answer to the question they're asking. I, oh, it, it was basic training. What what branch of the military am I in? I'm like, I just met you. There's people waiting. Uh, the longer they talk, I can't, we can't take the picture and move on. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we invest time in in brands and things we can build. Mm-hmm. Bob Brothers, we want to come together and build, but we're both busy, so we we gonna bulk shoot them. So if you're in Patreon, you're watching all six of these at once. Me and Tony not changing clothes. You're an adult. You get it. <laughs> we're, we don't need. I to wore trick a you. jacket that I could take off. <laughs> not finna do that, that man. I used to hate that at all death. Who cares? Nobody's like, they have the same clothes on. I'm not watching this video. No one cares, man. If it's interesting, it's interesting. If it ain't, it ain't. Right. So, together we developed this podcast that combines a lot of things we love. You don't know, me and Tony love movies. We also love top ten lists. We love debating random hypothetical situations. And that's really what this podcast is. Today's first episode, I don't know if Tony remembers the stuff. Oh, you're looking at it. Yeah, I was looking at it, yeah. (laughs) But wait, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's at the bottom. All right, well, episode, episode number one, right? one, huh? Episode one. Episode one. Yeah. Top ten gospel artists we think can fight. <laughs> <laughs> Together we are going to come up with the top ten gospel artists we think can fight. We have some other seconds, but we don't know how long it'll take. Uh, but we need ten. Okay. So we can go person to person. We yeah. can debate. But at the end, we need the full, unadulterated top ten, 10 gospel artists we think can fight. I'm talking sock out, <laughs> bare knuckle, no yeah. guns. Yeah. Men and women, mm-hmm. bare knuckle brawling. Who is who is you picking? Let me ask you this: All If right. they if they transition out of gospel into secular, no, nah. oh no, I need full time full time for God because that's good, but it just opens okay. it up to too many people. All right, All we right. could do rappers and R and B singers later, yeah, which will also be fun, yeah. <laughs> but I'm talking in okay. the church, straight been in the gospel. church, straight gospel albums, Verity Records, okay, <laughs> for your soul. All right, I'm gonna go with my first pick. Okay, okay. And th- if I was drafting gospel artists uh-huh. that I could fit, my first pick 
Tina Campbell. Man, that's who I I swear <laughs> that was going to be my first pick. Tina Campbell. If it's, I'm the GM of the yo, fight club, get me Tina Campbell off the board first up. No disrespect to Erica's <laughs> face, but she got a sweetness to it. It's just a baby face. But Tina Campbell, <laughs> it's the eyes, man. It's like, I will give you these anointed knuckles at the drop of a dime. You hear me? I'm going I'm to give you these sanctified sock thousand percent. Got the benefit of being from L.A. Oh, man. She probably not. You, she's not. It's not like she's born in, you know, Wichita. We're right. like, were they fighting? L.A., right. they be fighting. They was fighting. If you watch their reality show, Tina was always with it. Mm, see, I didn't even see the reality oh, show. I'm just so basing this on That's pure... why I was watching film. Oh, I was like, oh, okay. man, she's, she's great. <laughs> she's angsty. She's a beautiful person. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, don't get it twisted. Big fan. She is yeah. a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. But she go 10 if she want to go 10 <laughs> on L.A. I don't know if she's a criminal. So I know she she's says Tina Nicholas. Campbell. She's Tina Campbell mm. for sure. She and I feel like mm. she has squabbled up. You yeah. remember on Snowfall? You better teach your boy how to squabble. Yeah. I feel like Tina would duck your first punch, body shot, and you'll be like, I don't know what I signed up for. <laughs> I didn't expect a woman to duck my, yeah. you know, you swinging wild. Right. And she's like, perfect. Yeah. Like Sherlock that Holmes. That happened to me on Grand Theft Auto. Because you know, in Grand Theft, you could just sock anybody out on the street. I ran up on this one dude, you good, Swan. He ducked, bodied me, and then pieced me up at the top. Random dude. Tina Campbell was playing. Oh, <laughs> she man. had control. She was like, I, I got him again. <laughs> she was like, I was waiting for this. Peace. The you combo. remember when, uh, when Thanos was about to fight Hulk? Yes. And Malkin was like, no, nah, let him have his fun. Right. And I was like, whoa, whoa, yeah, what, wait, doing? what happened? Man. And then he pieced up the Hulk. He did. That's you fighting Tina Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Not she. She been waiting for this. She been praying for it. That's why she's Christian. She be praying for the fight. Man, that was gonna be my first pick. Uh, <laughs> Tina Campbell's off the board. I need a piece of paper. <laughs> Tina Campbell. In case I forget. Man, that was coming for her. Is there a pin? Uh, all right, Tone. Right, your first pick. All right, I'm coming in hot. With John P. Key. That was my next. <laughs> that was my next person. John P. <laughs> Key, dog. Hands. <laughs> Piano hands, man. There's something about the eyes, yeah. man. Cause I went, cause I looked at, I looked at the joint last night, so I started looking at, yeah. at the gospel, the list. I was like, John P. Key looked like he might have some sock outs in him. John P. Key is great. You also have the added benefit. He sold drugs. Oh, he sold, I didn't even know this. He sold cocaine. He, all, he got the resume. <laughs> he definitely has You the can't be moving that product <laughs> handsless. <laughs> you can't be moving that product on the streets. Where is he from? He's from Durham, North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. 15 in Southern child hands. out of 16 mm -hmm. children. He, oh. he does gun collection drives oh, now. Come on, man. He got the pills for two. <laughs> they, bring, they bring him to the church. And he'll be like, man, today we have 45 guns collected from the from the streets. He's shooting them guns yeah. and they collect. <laughs> he, he, he John Wick. He John P. Wick. He can shoot you or he can hand you up. Absolutely. Dang. He says nigga on Instagram. He does? Oh, yeah. I love John. Oh, he's handed out. Man. I love. He be arguing with people and be like, and he always said, well, it could be, you know where I'm at. <laughs> You know where I'm at. He ready for this. John P. Key for sure got hands. Man, this is a perfect pick. <laughs> he been like, man, I've been waiting for you. He probably going to put hands on us if we didn't include him. I'm glad we included him. Because he was like, I swear, if they don't put me on that list, it's going to be sock outs in the name of the Lord. <laughs> I'll sock y'all out right now, dip you, in, <laughs> dip you in, the, in the sanctified waters right after. I'll rinse you off. In this holy water. Oh, snap. Dang. John uh, P. John P. Key. Key. All right. I feel strongly about John P. Key. I love Tonas in the eyes, man. You, I checked out the eyes. <laughs> no argument with me for John P. Key. Okay, so next up, let me think of who I... <laughs> I probably would go Kirk. Okay. Because Kirk's just in great shape. He is in great shape. I feel like for, for a gospel artist, he probably is the best... He's definitely in the best physical shape of any gospel artist. For sure. But I feel like he don't want the smoke. I do, too. But 
when it comes down to it, strength is necessary. And, he, and stamina. And stamina. Mm. He's been out here. This is just on the physical thing. I right. do agree Kirk probably don't want no issues. Yeah. He's love. He played the piano. Mm. But I feel like if it gets to that, yeah. he also ain't no punk. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... um, He looked quick. He looked quick. He looked He's like strong. He speed. Yeah. It's all about the foot. When we boxing, it's all about the footwork, stamina, breath control. There you go. He ain't going to give you no unnecessary haymaker miss. No. It's going to be Jab gonna be City. Jab City, tight and compact. Yep. Choosing his shots. Mm -hmm. He'll probably feel bad. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to pray for you and with you <laughs> while you're down on one knee, busted right. up, lips swollen. Like, listen, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. My sister said. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. <laughs> my brother said, I didn't want to do it. But listen. But my sister, listen, he also, um, he he's with the rappers a lot. He, he is. got songs of Lil Baby, mm -hmm. Chance, T-Pain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He probably been in the studio. Maybe a weed was smoked. Right. Remnants. It might have been fights in the studio. He broke up. Or, you know how when you're breaking up a fight and then you grab somebody and then they hit you. Yeah. He might have ducked that hit. For sure. And, you know, rib shot. Right. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> I'm just trying to break this up, young brother. Don't don't make me dip it to my More back. thousand percent. And you got to be strong to break up fights. You do. Because most people avoid breaking up fights for that reason. Right. Because people swing wild. Mm. And, you know, they their adrenaline's up. Right. I got to grab you. Exactly. So people be like, that really ain't my business. Mm. But I feel like Kirk would be like Jonathan Majors. This is he was like, yeah, for the <laughs> for the people, and he's boxer height. We feel like most boxers are like Kirk Franklin's size. Yeah, you know, we they look big. He on definitely TV. got the fighter height for, for sure. sure. Absolutely, he, he probably was not even probably. He's probably heavier than Floyd Mayweather. Probably so. Yeah, because them boxers be little. They, they just strong be and tiny, they though. Be, bro, we see them. I said, man, you what? Man, you you're coming in at one thirty seven. One thirty seven. My thigh weigh 137. <laughs> Maybe Zay Zay's full. Dang. Full grown body, man. Grown man, 137. Peace you out. And he's, this guy's a murderous, <laughs> murderous rampage. They call him the, the widow maker. Man. He coming like. <laughs> you just see the top of his head coming through. This is it right here, y'all. He got 18 KOs <laughs> out of 15 fights. I'm like, how you get more KOs in fights? This is what he do. He come in. <laughs> you pick him up like a baby. Come here. Wow. What about that, senor? That's the champ. <laughs> the champ. <laughs> and then you'd be holding him up and be like, <sighs> he'd be breathing while he getting held up. Hey. <sighs> <laughs> He's a savage in his weight, weight division. Pound for pound, the best. It's not that many pounds. That's why they need pound for pound. <laughs> because you can't compare 137 to George right. George Foreman, 230. Right. Like, come on, man. You know what's unfair in the heavyweight division? I am one. I could be like 205, <laughs> and I got to fight Tyson Fury at 270. After 205, they're like, all right, whatever else. <laughs> but he heavier than me, y'all. Go on in there. It's heavyweight. <laughs> he like, hey, grab it. Man, I'm like, they laying on you, this big 270 leaning on you in round six. They don't care about you the You remember Butterball? Yes. Butterball with three Honda. In this sock and catch out. It was like fighting juggernaut. It's like, I might not catch you, but when I catch you. When I get you with one of these wild, larded punches. He got on his American flag short. <laughs> Butterball and cats out. That's why I think about when I was watching them fights, I'd be like, bro, I would be fighting them. Yeah. I'm Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson's weight class, mm -hmm. Holyfield, Ali. Mm -hmm. What am I finna do in there with them? You and Lennox Lewis. Me and Lennox Squaring Lewis. Squaring up. He's like, hello, good bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, those, bro, when boxers get hit hard in the slow-mo, bro, I'd be like, he died. Yeah. It'd be like, <laughs> 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 Every molecule of moisture ejects. It's like those animes where the planet is about to blow up and you see all these spacecrafts leaving. The, that's every molecule of moisture in the slow mo. You knock the sweat. I seen boogers get punched Man. out and the eyes be. <laughs> Different directions. Mouthpiece flew out. Man. Everything flew out. And that's just a punch they absorb. That's not and even they, a knockout They don't blow. even be knocked out. They Dude. catch them. And their mom is <laughs> in the crowd like, God, the girlfriend's like. You the always kids see are them like, through the ropes. They be like. 
my baby. I'm like, man, that's a tough. It's tough, man. That's a tough profession. That's tough. All right, you're up, Tall. Your second pick. Uh, I'm going to go with Shirley Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Caesar look like she'll sock you out mid cook. She'd be like, "Didn't I tell you not to come in here while I had this macaroni and cheese going? I told you not to come up oh in my here." God. Like a good meaty, but all slaps, <laughs> all slaps though. Like them hard, you know, the slap competitions where they just be like, "Mac." I feel like she got an anointed, open hand Shirley Caesar slap. <laughs> Slap your nose to the back of your head, just like. You know. to, remember when Daffy Duck got his beat slapped off? That's how you gonna end up messing with Shirley Caesar. It would spin around yeah. and then be backwards at the end. And you know them old black women; their hands were hard. Yeah, like my grandma's hands. She like she broke wood. Like, <laughs> grr, grr. put it in the fire and hush. Like Shirley slapping you. With the civil rights. Did not, I got greens, beans. <laughs> You're like, Grandma, you know your ears ringing. <laughs> the yam, I got the yams going now. They can boil this food in these hands. They reaching in the pot. For no, sure. no, no gloves, just grabbing <laughs> stuff. That's how my grandma was. See? The, the hands of years of just... Grandma's hands. <laughs> raising kids. Grandma's hands. <laughs> smack me when I touch the pot. Is this a real song? Yeah. Oh, I think wow. it's Bill Withers. What is it, Patreon? Bill, Bill Withers? Withers? Grandma's hands. It was about <laughs> Shirley Caesar. <laughs> he got smacked up by her. He said... He no went way. in there too early. <laughs> Let me write this song. <laughs> right in the he moment. pulled the guitar in the moment. <laughs> You better sing that damn song outside of this kitchen. He was right outside the kitchen with the guitar. Grandma's hands smack me when I touch the pot. And shut it up, Bill. Keep it down. I don't want this cake to this bread to fall neither. Shirley Caesar, though. That's what I'm going. Shirley with. Caesar. All right. So that's four. Okay. My for my fish, she has she has passed on, uh -huh. but I feel like we can keep it open. Oh yeah, Maddie Moss Clark. Okay, I don't know who that is. Maddie Moss Clark. Did you watch the Clark Sisters movie? No. Okay, so she's the mom oh, of okay. the Clark Sisters. She's the one that... Because they saying that you made me... Yeah. So dun, 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 dun. Yes. Okay. That's her. They they credit her with creating like the the, the three-part harmony in choirs. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that, but that's what, I, that's what the movie said. And in the movie, serious business. Oh, so she was socking the kids She was the throwing movie. shoes at people in the church for the wrong note. Oh, wow. She was like, hit with the quick, with the heel, no smile. You need to watch the movie. Wow. Anjanou Ellis Taylor plays Maddie really? Moss Clark, never smiled. The whole two-hour, three-hour film. Wow. Never smiled. And they she they was mad at her for, for taking the, the Clark sisters to the Grammys. So uh -huh. She was up against men in the Kojic. Mm. So I feel like, you know, back, back then, black women, they were squaring up. Yeah. She had the big glasses. <laughs> So I feel like she could identify where the punches were coming from. She from Detroit. Oh, it's a uh, great breeding ground for fighting. We could have led with this. <laughs> she got all the she got all the particulars <laughs> that you need for a good sock out. Dang, Maddie Moss Clark, bink bink. Now hit the hit that E flat over C. Was she socking the kids out too? They never. She never showed them hitting. But I, I want to say, and correct me if I'm wrong, Patreon. I believe there was some physicality in her relationship. Oh wow. You know what I'm so saying? So she was beating her husband. Up. I think they was getting into it. Mm -hmm. I think the movie said that. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't know if I need to delete this. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure there was some physicality in the movie. Okay. Okay. So the Patreon is saying there was some physicality in the movie. Uh -huh. So I'm feeling like sometimes they don't take it all the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'd be mm -hmm. like, all right. Then, what no, network was this on? BT? This was on, I believe it was on BT. Okay. Or Lifetime? No, Lifetime. Was it so time? Lifetime had a good, they actually had a great, good. Great. Really? Great. I thought they took L's every time. Orange New Ellis played Maddie Moss Clark. Karen Clark Shear's daughter uh -huh. played her. Karen okay. Clark played her. Uh, I'm blanking. Uh, Shalea was Dorinda. Uh, who, was, who was the other one, y'all? Who was the other sister? I'm trying to remember the cast. I got to check it this was, out. One of them was Denise, who, uh, who the sister who got out. It said Angela Burchett. 
Oh God. Amber Amber Riley? It wasn't Amber Riley. No. No, it's they always mistake Raven her. was Denise. Raven. It was Raven Goodwin was Denise. I was okay. trying to think of her name. Y'all stop confusing Raven and Amber. Oh. <laughs> was Amber in it? No, man. It was Raven. They say Amber Riley is Nisi. No, man, that's Raven. They always confuse uh Angela Burchett. That was it. Shalea was her, yep. Ingenue and Kiera. Raven mm. Goodwin and Amber P. Riley are different people. Wait, let me see. Let me see who they This is Raven Goodwin. With. Oh, I get it though. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, Amber P. Riley, a different person. She had this in her video. She's like, I'm a black plus size actress. Of course you confuse me with other black plus size actresses. Oh, okay. And then y'all just did it in the Patreon. <laughs> so anyway, this is Amber P. Riley. I mean. Nah, man, nah. We're I mean, different people. It's not wild, though. It is wild. It's wild. <laughs> I'm about to throw a shoe at y'all like Maddie Moss Clark. But anyway. Yeah, I'm taking Manny Moss Clark. All right, Tony, you're Okay, up. all right. I'm, I'm also too dip into the passed away bag. Okay. James Cleveland. What? I thought, I thought James might come up today. James <laughs> Cleveland, man. I'm giving him hands on the strength of his name alone. <laughs> James Cleveland sound like hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this sound like he boxed in the Prohibition era. <laughs> like, James Cleveland. And then he come out there and... Black and white footage, all green, and he just like, and then he got saved, and he was like, you know, I used to throw hands in the streets. That was before I found Jesus. Jesus threw his hands on me, and I never had to fight again. James Cleveland, man. The visual of James Cleveland walking down, <laughs> just, that's big James, y'all. That's how he came in every Sunday service. He had his robe on, he was like, mm, mm, mm. I fight for the Lord now, y'all. Uh. He was moving around. And he took his robe off. Now, Saints, James Cleveland, man. <laughs> All right. And this is just on the strength of his name Not and the black and white photo. <laughs> Big James Cleveland. Big James though. Cleveland coming down the aisle. All right, that's six. Just to recap, if you're just joining us, we're doing top ten gospel artists that can fight. Tina Campbell, John P. Key, Kirk Franklin, Shirley Caesar, Maddie Moss Clark, James Cleveland. We got four more. Okay. All right. Let me think of who could fight. <laughs> I probably. I feel like Fred Hammond's got to be my next pick. You think Fred? I feel like Fred. I'm gonna tell I you. I thought why. about Fred, but I wasn't sure. Fred's from Detroit. Okay. Okay. That's one. Yeah. Okay. Fred was in the army. Oh, okay. okay. So he trained, uh -huh. and I just been talk. I talked to Fred. Yeah. Some inside of you know how the the, the commentators like we sat down with Fred and he yeah, told yeah. us here's the game plan. I just feel like Fred with whatever. Okay. I feel like he not backing down. He was in great shape when he was young. Uh -huh. The Detroit really helps. He he, he was uh, in commission. He was radical for Christ. Yeah. Radical. Oh, radical. For okay. Christ. He played the bass. I just feel like Fred, and he did say he had a temper. Oh, Fred did say he had a temper. That's a nice little nugget right temper there. Temper is cold for I yeah. got it to fight. Right. You know, temper temper leads to fights oh, all the sure. time. Oh, for sure. When you young with a temper, you fight. Tony had a temper. I definitely had a temper. Tony I beat fought. up his friend in his house because he was following right him out. Face. He was following him out. Sock him right in his face. Stop following me, dog. It's my house. Sock. Oh, if I didn't have no good rebuttal, <laughs> I'm socking you out. My favorite story because you are in your friend's house. I was at his house, but he ain't got to follow me. Everywhere. Where was y'all going? Maybe he was just making sure you know nah, how to get around. Nah, man, he was following me because I made it a point to just move <laughs> extra, and he just kept. He is again. I'm like, yo, stop following me, dog. So how much? How long did it take for you to be like, all right? Like, did you warn him before you socked him, or was that the, the, the turnaround? Stop following me. Follow by. I kind of just went into the straight. Yo, why are you following me? Uh -huh. like, I ain't following you. You everywhere I go, here you are. And he was like, "It's my house." <laughs> You're like, "Well, <laughs> sock." Because <laughs> I was over there like all weekend. I was just tired of Robert's shit, man. Like, all right, man, I'm over here. <laughs> you ain't got to be with me the whole time. I know I'm over here for you, <laughs> but you ain't got to be with me the whole time. So. So he said it's my house, and you're just like, oh, I got nothing after that. Well, I got something. <laughs> Good meaty, just <laughs> 80s sock out, man. <laughs> Did you pause before the punch? Did you think of something and then be like, well. I think it was quicker than I remember. He's like, it's my house. I was probably like, <laughs> and then it was scuffle after that, but like, 
when you ain't got no good rebuttal and you kids, man, we ain't got time to be talking this down any further, oh man. Let's God. sock out. <laughs> Let's sock out. <laughs> we was we was friends immediately after that, but oh, that's how it was. I went home. Oh, you gotta go. I went home. <laughs> you can't just be like, yeah. I'm, you want a sandwich? His mama came there. What y'all doing down here, man? He's talking about I was tired of him following me. <laughs> you told the mom? Yeah, Pee Wee. That was her name. She was little. I was like, man, he was following me. I'm going home. I would be so mad at Zay's friend socked him out downstairs. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, I, I was following him. He just, I, I he said stop, and I said it's my house, and he, now my jaw's clicking. <laughs> get the get, get the I hell out of here, man! Stop following but me, man. Mom wasn't mad at you. I don't remember her being mad at me long term. We just <laughs> fought. This is what we did. The kids fought. I fought Leon several times. I lost the Leon fights though. Leon beat me twice. I'm, I'm over two against Leon, but that was my dog. But Leon would always just <laughs> <laughs> went through in the end, man. I was like, man, I'll start out good, run out of steam. Leon, he had that stamina. <laughs> Pounded me out. I'm like, he paused. <laughs> Pounded me out. <laughs> like, damn, Leon. Well, it feels like you resigned. And you're just like, dang, got me. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, you got me, Leon. Come on. <laughs> Leon, come on, come man. Come on, man. Come on, man, Leon. But I was always the first one to say it, though. <laughs> but Leon had my number. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker, dog. I'm going to get Leon back, man. I'm going to catch him now. What if he beat you up again? Hey, like... but then, hey you know what? I'm on with three. <laughs> Leon, all the smoothies and the water and the Peloton and Leon's nothing. like. I was like. Just <laughs> you can be in shape and get knocked out. Absolutely. You lay it out with a six-pack. Oh, my God. All right, Fred Hammond. All right, yours. We got three more, Tom. We got three more. Okay. Three more. I'm going to go with Lecrae. Oh. I'm going to go with Lecrae. Christian hip-hop. Yeah, I wasn't even man. thinking about that. He just that. look athletic, dog. He is. He's physically fit. He's a fit. big, tall dude. Youthful energy. Okay. I feel like he don't want the smoke, but I feel like if the smoke is there, he with it. And he's from Houston. Okay. You, being from a fighting a fighting city just helps. It does help. Because you grow, you're from Chicago, mm. fighting city, L.A., Detroit, yep. Houston. Fights are the norm. Right. If you were That's around a lot did. of fights, you fought a lot, feel like you have a better chance than if you didn't grow up fighting a lot. It, it's what we did. And so you just fought. And I feel like Lecrae, you know, he looked he look like he is shape. So mm -hmm. once again, the stamina is coming into play. He got that height on him. Because he yeah, tall. He about, he about six four. So he's going to have that reach. He definitely about six four. He's going to piece you out several times before yeah. you even get close. Yeah. So when you come in for the wrestle, you done got pieced out mm -hmm. seven times. Yeah. So hopefully the pieces didn't knock you out on the way in. And then boom. He lifts too. See? You got the strength. So if you want to take it to the grapple, if you it's going to be, it's gonna be got, a tussle. It's going to be a tussle with Craig. Car bottom sliding around. <laughs> it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going to throw Lecrae in the mix for the youth because I've been going all old school. No, no that's no. good. Yeah, I'm going to throw Lecrae in there. That's old strength. Okay, so my final mm. pick. It's tough. I'm going to go Leandria Johnson. Okay, I don't know who that is. Leandria Johnson was on a show called Sunday's Best. Uh -huh. she, she got the Sunday's Best for that ass. She, she definitely does. She smokes. Oh, regular cigarettes? Cigarettes. What brand? I don't, Newport Parliament? Shorts. Newport Shorts, I feel like. Oh, my God. Newport. Uh, there's been times where they caught her like, man, she was drinking. She was like, and I was drinking. Oh. <laughs> she was just like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that she was out there giving, I feel like she was giving food to the homeless. And yeah. she was like, so anyway, man, what we got to do is you know, we got some. I mean, she was out there regular uh -huh. smoking, and she never hides from it. Okay. I feel like she she's a ma one of my favorite voices in gospel. Mm -hmm. She got like a gravelly voice. She, she just feel like she been through some stuff. Is she older? She no, she's probably mid forties, I guess. Is she still smoke? She smoke regular cigarettes. She, I don't, she smoke cigarettes. I seen it in the video. I don't know if she's smoking. She them that currently. young and smoke regular cigarettes. So she like I don't give a damn what the attorney general. The attorney general can kiss my ass. Two cigarettes. The attorney general ain't paying my rent or saving my soul. Is the attorney general Jesus? I don't want to hear nothing. Y'all going to let me smoke these parliaments. Oh, my God. She be smoking Parliament two at a time. is an old cigarette. 
<laughs> like, you, who's still smoking? Parliament don't have no commercial. None. You ain't never seen. And I smoke parliaments. We don't got that budget. Like, what? You know the cheap stuff is like, the people know where to find it. Right. I ain't never seen the parliament billboard. No. Camel and Marlboro and Newport, yep. they had, they they had, had Art Virginia design. Slims. I Virginia seen Slims. Those. They had the women with yep. the long legs. Yeah, they were sophisticated. They were. They was. They had their hands up. <laughs> the Virginia Slims. The Virginia Slims. They was always very slim women. Yeah, they were. With elongated <laughs> yeah. graphic design. The women looked like they didn't even smoke. Well, they never smoked a cigarette. They yeah. would be caught dead. But they're like, man, she smoked Virginia Slims. She's like, I would. <laughs> <laughs> it was always like late. Always. Like, it was always they was always long. They were. <laughs> this is this is Sherelle. She's like, hey y'all, I'm also a model. <laughs> In between meals, they I had a martini Virginia. glass and a Virginia <laughs> Slim. Sure. Arm extended. Arm to extended the on the hood of the car. <laughs> I smoke Virginia Slims. My name's Sherelle. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, Leandria Johnson, I feel like okay. she smoked Parliament. Leandria <laughs> Parliament sound like, like come on, fists. Man. Leandria? You know Leandria come down here. It's going to be some... Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Leandria? Yeah, <laughs> like she, that episode of Martin. Uh, what was his name? <laughs> they was all worried about the dude coming, and he, he ended up being small. I feel like it was... Uh, uh, the chess word probably no. Oh my god. Y'all know the episode of Patreon. The small dude, Mad, Mad Dog. Dog. <laughs> Leandra is a name like Mad Dog. Who who ended up being Mad Dog? Who was the actor? Was it I don't remember this episode. You don't remember the episode of Martin? Man, it was a Mad Dog coming. And it was at the pool hall. It wasn't. It the was Bush Gary Week. Coleman. Oh, Gary no, Coleman. No, Bushwick Bill. No, Bushwick Bill Bush wasn't Bill. Mad Dog. It wasn't? Nah. Was it Gary Coleman? It was Gary Coleman. Yeah, Gary Coleman. Bush McBill was on an episode. He was. He was. Okay. Yeah. They fought them at the at the bar. There you go. <laughs> that was episode. He was at the bar. All right. Your last one, Tone. All right. So um, I just had who I was picking. Oh, I'm going to go with Andre Crouch. Andre Crouch. On the simple strength of older school. Yep. His name is Andre. Yes. A lot of times, Andre people got hands. And it's spelled A N D R A E. Yeah, that extra. A -E. So he got to explain that all the time. Yeah, he's, he's irritated. I'm not going to explain my name again. This, this is what I'm not going to do. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm I, all right. What we do? Is it Andre? Yeah, no, it's, it's Andre, big, and you knew big. that. I told you that already, man. Don't make me come from behind this piano. Like, all right, man, chill, man, Andre. And they, Big always, they always test you. Chill, Andre. They say it wrong on purpose. Right. Andrea. <laughs> Told your mother. You know he going to get, if he come from around that piano, it's going to be some hands distributed. <laughs> it's going to be some tires oh, being paid. Oh, my God. On the hands tip. There we go. 10%. I love it. Any honorable mentions? Patreon, let's get some honorable mentions. That's our <laughs> official list. Tina Campbell, John P. Key, Kirk Franklin, Shirley Caesar, <laughs> Matty Moss Clark, Big James Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> so they say Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp. I feel like Marvin Sapp would be solid. Zicardi Cortez, yeah. Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell. I, I thought like about she, Marvin Winans. I thought about Marvin Winans, too. Uh, I, I, I would go Zicardi Cortez. Oh, I want you to bind them. She's not a gospel artist per se, but I she released some music. Yolanda Adams looks like she wants peace. Yeah, she does. All the whiners. Ty Tribbett, I feel like Ty, he, he said he got beat up a lot. So I feel like. <laughs> he took him off. <laughs> Tamla man. Da David man. Paco, oh, Paco Walls. Walls. The Walls. That sounds like a fighter. Yeah, Paco Walls. That's Alec Walls. That sounds like a Mexican fighter. <laughs> yeah, he, he regular black though. <laughs> From Houston. Paco for show sure knocks somebody out. BB and CC ain't fighting, y'all. No, I, don't, I don't get that from them. I feel like the wine is probably fight to protect CC. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Mar, Big Mar. Yeah. I feel like you got to go get Mar. Marvin. Wine, out of all the wine, is Marvin. Is yeah. Good. Like, don't, don't, don't let me bring Marvin over here. Marvin L. Winans? <laughs> that's Donnie McClurkin. You love that album. I love That's my favorite my gospel pastor, album. Marvin L. L. Winans? Uh, I feel like Baby Dub, Warren Campbell probably got some hands. He worked with Death Row. Oh, okay. Yeah, he worked with Suge and Tupac. Oh, and yeah. Them. You know, so, you got to get jumped in and work I, with Death for Row. For sure show you're right off. I'm mm -hmm. with you when you're right. All right. <laughs> we don't know how long this will be, about 30, 45 minutes. Okay. We ain't got no ads. <laughs> so we'll figure it out. Me and Tony want to be here all day. But we want to build a brand. <laughs> right. So the next topic is totally unrelated. This is something we saw on Instagram. 
and it's called Recast It Today. So here's how it works. The movie is Friday. Me and Tone got to work together to recast the main characters. We got the hardcore rapper Straight Man, which is Ice Cube's character, mm -hmm. up-and-coming comedian, which is uh, Chris, Chris Tucker's mm -hmm. character. You need the funny dad comic who's older, played by John Witherspoon. Yep. You need the straight card mama, which was... Uh, Anna Marie Horsford. Anna Marie Horsford from Night Court, right? Uh, she was from uh, Amen. Amen. Okay, you need the love interest, which mm -hmm. is Nia Long. Mm -hmm. and, and they need to be around the ages the actors were then. Okay. But like Ice Cube was around 30, mm -hmm. like maybe early 30s. Okay, you need villain number one, Big Worm, and the main villain, uh, Debo. Okay. And you need a comedian to steal the scenes like Ezel. All right, let's start at the top. So a hardcore rapper, hardcore straight man. rapper, straight man, no frills, a little comedic ability though. Ice Cube can play the straight man with right. just enough funny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He's good at that. Right. He, that he found his lane, mm -hmm. and he's around thirty, uh, and he needs to be a rapper. Like, that was part of the allure of Friday. Right. Ice Cube was a rapper. Chris mm -hmm. Tucker was a comedian off of Def Comedy Jam. You know what I'm saying? Coming off of those Def Comedy Jam sets. All right, let me think. Who could be? Also, Ice Cube, you would buy that Ice Cube is intimidating. Yeah. Right? He wasn't big, but he played Doughboy. He was in higher learning. Right. Like, he he buys. He kind of plays on it now and, right. like, ride along and stuff. Mm -hmm. But in Boys in the Hood... Yeah. I, I was buying it. Right. In Higher Learning, I was buying it even more than Boys in the Hood. Yeah. I was like, he, I don't know what this he was man is. He's educated. What he's capable man, of. Man. Let me see your ID. Yeah. I wanted to say that to a cop so bad. <laughs> I was terrified too. But when he did that, I was like, yeah. oh my God. Let me see your ID. So when it, when it came time for Craig to fight Debo, I believed it. For sure. Yeah. I felt he was undersized, but he had a heart right. and he knew how to fight. Yeah. So you need to be believably either physically right. or like, Stature wise, that that you could that you could uh, and I feel like you need to be, you know, we sell in a movie. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube was also a big star, yeah. So it kind of eliminates underground people. Like right. Ice Cube was off NWA. Like you knew he was, platinum, Ice he was a platinum artist. Platinum artist. That's yeah. why it was it was a great casting. Right. The age is where I'm gonna run into problems. Do they have to be? You know, let me take the age. Okay. All right. It might be. He might have been a special specimen at the time. Okay. But it needs to be like. Uh, who's known to be serious, but I know they got a little bit of silly in them. And is it going? Is it, is the platinum rapper going to be tough? Did it, like is the mainstream going to make it hard? Um, not not really. Kevin Gates. He be serious a lot, but I know he got a little bit of silly in there. But he's serious. Do you think enough people know of, of Kevin Gates? Black people. I know he didn't cross over, but no, okay. But I, I'm, I'm just trying to think of 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 somebody. What about that, Toby? Oh, I didn't even think about Toby. He might not be. He he hasn't sold platinum albums, but right. physically on the physical on the physical tip, yes, you believe he can fight. He Absolutely, was the size of Debo and 100%. funny wise, he was in Transformers. And he act, he does act. Yeah, he does have a he does have a funny side. He does have a funny side, but I feel like he's not as big as a rapper of Ice Cube, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's. I like Toby. Him. I like Toby too, because I because I know he can do the funny. He could do he, the funny. He could do the like he, straight he, man. When it comes to the fight at the end, I can believe he for got sure. Hands. I can see the love interest. I yeah. can see you know because remember Ice Cube was he was trying to holler. He was. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It was like he had enough char charisma, right? And all Toby does is fight, shoot guns, and get to fat pregnant. Yeah, let's let's go with Toby. All right, I like Toby's Toby. solid. I like Toby. All right, okay. So now we need. This is the hard one. The up and coming. I feel like comedian. DC Young Fly is the easy answer. He would be the obvious choice for Chris Tucker. Yeah, and I it, and that, but I feel like that's partly because of like they almost have the same body build right. and like vocal. Yeah, like same time, man. Like he could play Chris Tucker in a Chris Tucker biopic bio, for sure. I don't think anybody else is as believable as Chris right. Tucker, and DC is like he actually probably is further along than where Chris was at the time. Oh, he's further along now, he's for sure. He's further along yeah, than Chris. For sure. He, Chris was like, if you watched Def Comedy Jam, you knew about him. So yeah. we, we was up on him. I, I was up on him <clears> from the Def Jam to yeah. the house party uh, three real quick. And then and then Friday, it was just like, yo, I know this cat. Yeah. But, and then he was just like. And then after after Friday, that's when it was like, Was it boom. like Friday, then Rush Hour 2? I mean, Rush yeah. Hour? It, it was Friday, Dead Presidents, 
Oh, money snap. talks. Uh, money what about talks. the Fifth Element? Fifth Element was Money Talks and Fifth Element was the same year, ninety seven. Okay, and then Rush Hour was ninety eight. Oh, I thought it was way yeah, because Friday was ninety five. Yeah, and then Dead Presidents was also ninety five. Mm-hmm. And then he was also in Jackie Brown. He had a little role in that, and um, and then then he had the Money Talks. Money, Fifth Element. Money talks. Yeah. Love money talks. So so he, he was already because I, I feel like money talks is prime real estate Chris Tucker. One thousand percent. Him and Charlie Sheen had it was just Chris he, Tucker plays well off of he he's does. really low key kind of underrated for his comedic acting. Oh man. Like tough. he's funny for sure. Yeah. But acting wise, because mm-hmm. in Fifth Element, you don't even really that's not the Chris Tucker from Friday no. and the other movies. He was he was he was doing Prince pretty much with a high He was high basically doing voice. Prince. Just more energy. And a lot of people love that movie because of him. Yeah. For like sure. he is like the he's he's great. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll take DC all day. Yeah, let's get DC. All right, that so was now easy. We need the funny dad comic to play Pops. So I feel like you gotta be at least fifty plus. Okay. Maybe even sixty to be believable as, you know, these people's dad. John Witherspoon was perfect. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Mm-hmm. So now we need a 50-plus funny man. Okay, what about, uh, man, and they, they, I'm talking about they need to say the funny stuff. Because John Witherspoon was making this. He made Ice Cube going in the refrigerator mm-hmm. a funny scene. Right. Just because of what he was saying. Ice Cube <laughs> didn't do nothing but open the door. Right. And John Witherspoon gave every us. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. And it got there refrigerated. Every time. I'm like, bro, <laughs> that's all John. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, what are they saying? In David there? Allen Greer. I was thinking Earthquake. Earthquake would be good. I feel like. I like David Allen Greer, too. David Allen Greer ain't a stand-up, though. He's never done stand-up? Uh-uh. So it has to be a stand-up. I mean, I I don't think it has to be, mm-hmm. but I mean, I was just going off of like because I've never seen John Witherspoon do stand-up prior to any of those roles. Oh, nah, that is a good point. I've never seen John Witherspoon on the stage at that at that time with nah, Boomerang you're and right. all that. I've never seen him do stand-up. You're absolutely. I didn't see all. I've never seen him do stand-up yeah. personally ever. I've never seen him. Oh, you even, didn't even even after that, I've never no, seen, I've him. seen him on. Flyers, I know he was like, on the road, but I've never seen. him. I never saw him either. Okay, but do you believe he did it before? I mean, sure, but deep cut, Michael Collier. Ooh, he w- he would be dope. Michael Collier has that same he, yeah. cadence, speed. I yeah. feel like if 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 DC Young Fly, oh, I mean, uh, if uh, Toby opened the fridge, yeah, I feel like Michael Collier could give you yeah a three minute scene that you repeat. I like that. I like Michael Collier. Michael Collier, very funny, mm-hmm. very quick. He he like yep. he like Tony Roberts level of like speed. Mm-hmm. I can see him okay. being a frustrated dad. I like Michael Collier. Michael Collier as as pops. Yeah. All right. So now we need the straight card mama. Straight card mama. So she was probably Anna Marie Four Horse was like probably fifty or so. You know who I would like in that role? Octavia Spencer. Okay. I like her in that role. I I'm all in on that. Cause she was serious business and like nothing nothing she said was being silly or funny. But even when but she was funny, but it was just a natural thing. And I know Octavia has that. I love that. They say in the Patreon, Niecy Nash, I feel like she could do it too. Niecy Nash is too funny though. She is. She's like she's done she's done too much. Reno nine one one, Niecy Nash, she's forever goaded. If she never did nothing else, right? But what she did in Reno 911, mm-hmm. Anna Marie Horsford had the ability to just be like, "Okay, that okay is just it was it's perfect. It was so funny yeah. without being over the top. Mm-hmm. It was like your mama was right say in that. the pocket. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna call you, girl. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna call you. Like, Octavia Spencer is great. Octavia, I'm Spencer. loving that. All yeah, right, love, love interest. interest. Nia Long, good actress. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna throw this one in with love to my wife and respect <laughs> to my wife. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Nicole Bihari. Oh yeah, she is. Mm. She's actress wise, she's mm-hmm. out of this. She world. can act for sure, but just love interest wise. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was looking. I was on her Instagram hours ago. Like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> 
I was like, Claude had me. You know who probably, Big James Cleveland probably would have knocked me out trying to holler. Because the thing, the thing about Nicole Bahari is that she has like a wholesome quality to her. For sure. Well. That's Nia what Nia Long, Long had. Nia Long has Friday. the girl around the. The the girl uh what's the it girl called? next door girl next door the girl but next she's door out of this world but fine though but she's still next door it's all that's a, when, and she was in um Fresh Prince mm -hmm. she always just felt like Man. the girl next door even in Boys in the Hood she was next door yeah she was down the street right she literally was the she girl was next the door the girl next door like she's down the block and it was like a it was it was a very wholesome and warm and accessible quality. Mm -hmm. even, and even though she was fine, she wasn't bougie. She wasn't yep. stuck up. One thousand percent. So I'm in with that. I'm I'm with it. All right, <clears throat> villain number one, Big Worm, which you must remember, he really set the tone for the movie. He did. He's a comedian, but like the whole movie is they owe. It's also funny. They owe Big Worm like two hundred dollars. Yeah, they're gonna lose their life. Right. right. He's going to kill y'all with his $200. Because it, it, it's the principal. Yeah. And 1990, was 1995? Yep. I don't know how much that is in inflation, but at most 500 bucks. That's a little, let's find Look out. Look it up, Tony. You know you, this. Yeah, you know you got the Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know you got the calculator going. <laughs> I know you got the calculator going. I do this all the time. <laughs> adjusted for inflation. For the movies, you know Tony got to know adjusted for inflation. Mm -hmm. Big Worm is a face on love. That's $404 today. I said about 500 That's a lot of money. Principal, <laughs> there's principalities in this. But he was a comedian. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but Big Worm wasn't like, was he funny? He was. Like he was mean. He was rude to them, them kids at the ice cream was. truck because you was. you can tell he didn't give a damn about his Absolutely. his undercover business. Absolutely, like customer service be damned. I'm right. a drug Not dealer. Not selling ice cream like right. that. He yeah. was like, man, hey, man, what you want? What you got? Man, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't even have what they wanted. Megan's and then Megan was in there. Like, I hate him. <laughs> so he didn't give a Megan damn for fifteen years. for a long time. I didn't know, it was didn't know that was. I don't think the person needs to be big, right? But I think they need to be intimidating. They gotta have a big presence and intimidating while also wearing rollers. What about there. what about Corey Holcomb? Corey Holcomb is perfect. Corey Holcomb would be perfect he as, is big perfect as Big Worm. As Big Worm, because he he's intimidating. He's funny. He's big. And you feel like he could kill you. There's that menace on the other end. On the other end, but he's funny enough. Right. And even as a comedic actor, Corey Holcomb is he's funny. Right. Yeah. I like I I'm, like Corey. I'm with Corey Holcomb as Big Worm. Oh, somebody said Big Ja in the chess word. Oh. I'm not mad at that either. Big Ja could be yeah. Big Ja could be good. I'm not mad at big that. Ja, we still we got can have Debo. him as Debo. Though. I was gonna say we still need Debo. Big Ja is Big Ja. Big Ja is Big Ja. Yeah. I feel like Tiny Lister's eye helped. Yeah. But the physical, like he was I like just, him as Debo. Big Jai as Debo is great. I like him as Debo. Debo didn't was not funny. No. He was just. But he was funny to me, though. He, was I, he? I was dying. It was just like he, <laughs> when he would roll up on that bike, yeah, just the yeah. way he <laughs> was riding was so stiff and big. And he would ride it. He didn't stand up on the bike. No. He just rode it straight back. And then you would he hear strong on the you, bike. You would hear the bike drop. <laughs> when he rolled up, you didn't see him on the camera. You heard the bike hit the ground. That lets you know, fuck a kickstand. <laughs> I'm just dropping this bike on the street. Because you can't be Debo up. and be like You can't do the kickstand. You cannot be strong and use a kickstand. <laughs> he put the kickstand on, man. Let's jump him. All the intimidation. You is... jumping him if you see him use the kickstand. Oh, he care about the bike standing up? Man, jump him. That's a little, it's a giveaway tale. Yeah. You're like, let me, oh, this is my new bike. Let me just hold he on. He let it drop. I <laughs> stole this from Red. Cat, 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 cat. And he walks up. <laughs> I would love to see Big Debo like. <laughs> you know, if you put the kickstand, you got to lay it just you so. Lay it just right. And you can't lay it in the driveway because nah, that little slope gotta, is going to make it fall over. And then it, if it falls over, um, I'm going to try to set up. You can jump. You, you they, can they jump. no longer fear you as Debo. <laughs> the drop is part of the allure of All Debo. Of it. He don't care. Because you're already riding a bike. Right. He riding the bike. He just going to let it drop. Now I'm going to get dropped. <laughs> and that's the core. It's part of the menace. Yeah. All right. So now we need the A.J. Johnson Ezel mm. character. And man... Rest in peace, AJ Johnson. Yeah, but man, that dog—he's there, man. And they say they say I watched the interview with him. 
He was saying that he was just supposed to have like one scene. I can but see they, but they kept like, they kept they kept using him. Cause he man, the uh my neck and my back, yeah. the way he was just running down the street. And the majority of his back, stuff was improv. I bet. Cause he was like Yeah. <laughs> like with him, remember when they were coming out of the store and he decided to walk like he was about to get in the car with them? <laughs> All improv. <laughs> when Smokey was doodling, he oh, came out the man. window. Hey, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> that had me, the first time I watched Friday, that had me laughing so hard. When 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 he was walking up and Chris Tucker was like, stay over there. I was laughing so because I was like, yo. The panic you must feel when you over there taking a public <laughs> dump Worst and night. somebody walking that knows you. Hey, Smokey, it looked like, oh, my God. It's the worst nightmare. Oh. It's literally the worst possible outcome of what's happening. Oh, my God, dog. Please. And Ezell, you know what you see. Like, he, not only is it bad, it's he's the worst person in the yes. neighborhood. Because you know he all over the neighborhood for oh one. Oh, my God. He ain't got no filter. Nothing. Everybody in the neighborhood gonna know you took a dump on the side of somebody's oh house. Oh my god. Oh. So who are we gonna take for for Ezel? Chasworth saying CP, King Batch. Oh CP. CP would be great. C he got the voice for it. CP is one of the greatest of our class yeah, comedians. For sure. I'll cast him in a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But anytime you just all right, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Be funny. Confident. CP in CP. probably CP probably give you three whole different takes right. of something that you could use either time. That you never thought of. Dog. Nah, CP easy. CP. And he was me. seen he like Ezel ain't really in that movie like that. No. But everything he does is so funny. Mm -hmm. You feel like he's in a movie more than he really is. Right. Because everything he does, you'd be like, this dude, the <laughs> store, the right. run, the the catching Smokey, yep. everything he said. I still say, man, we can sell it right now Remember? for $20. <laughs> <laughs> my neck, my back. <laughs> ah! Remember the time uh, Smokey went in there to get the stuff back while Debo was asleep, and then Ezel <laughs> was trying to break in as well, and they was arguing by the window. <laughs> they was arguing by the window. That little dynamic right there. And then when Debo did wake up, they was gone, and then you hear like a falcon. I don't know why you could hear like. Aah! I didn't watch that movie. Oh, that movie. It that, holds up. It holds up beautifully. Great. One of the best comedies ever made. All right. Kevin Tony's recast of Friday. We have mm -hmm. Toby Wigwe as uh, Craig, mm -hmm. DC Youngfly as Smokey, Michael Collier as Pops, Octavia Spencer as Mom, Nicole Bihari as, uh, I don't remember Nia Long's character's name. She's just Nia Long and everything. What is her name? Wendy? Not Wendy. They saying Tiana Taylor is Craig's girlfriend. Not mad at that because I know uh, Tiana Taylor can get ratchet. She can. Uh, what was her? Dana? Dana? No, Dana, Dana was... does sound right. Debbie. 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 That's what it was. Dana was a Regina King, right? His sister. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful person as well. Corey Holcomb is uh Big Worm. Big Jai is Debo and Comedian CP as Yeah. Ezel. That's a good time. For those of you who are not in Patreon, we'll see you next week. Patreon, we got another episode shooting right now. Patreon, depending on when you're watching this on YouTube, you might have seen this three months ago. Uh, but YouTube, <laughs> join us. If you want to help, you know what I'm saying? Build it. Join us on Patreon. I have a Patreon. Tony has a Patreon. You can find us in the links in our bios, all right?